So from time to time, I like to run my model steam engines without having to fill the firebox up with, you know, some sort of alcohol or tablets. Start the fire and wait for it to heat up, and it burns everything, especially if you've bought a expensive, maybe an antique toy steam engine, and you don't want to fire it. You don't want to have flame burning the paint, possibly even uh, damaging the value. A lot of guys will like to run these on compressed air. To do that, you need a connection from your air compressor to the boiler or to the intake of the steam engine. Thought I'd talk about uh, what I've hooked up, what I've set up to do this. So what I have here is a angled needle valve from Lowe's. That's this right here. It's got the little handle on it. However, in order to uh, feed the line for your model steam engine, you're going to have to make some modifications for this. Because they're set up to uh, feed a eighth inch copper line into the back of the refrigerator. So they are, uh, this one is one quarter inch by one eighth inch. These have um, pipe threads on them which are tapered so as you tighten it up it gets tighter and tighter until it's supposed to make a, it's supposed to make a seal. And ideally you would use some Teflon tape on here to get a, get a good seal on it. So what I've done is soldered, uh, first of all I've soldered a fitting to fit into the boiler. Now this wasn't a problem for me because I made the boiler fitting here. I made the bushing that goes into the boiler. So I just went to my tap and die set and I found the, I think these are quarter 28, which is I think on a standard tap and die set that's about the, the finest you can get that comes standard. Now you can buy quarter 40, which is a popular boiler fitting size. You can buy those taps from Mini Steam or anywhere on eBay. I threaded the male part of it with just a piece, I used a piece of 3 8 inch bar, 3 8 inch uh, brass bar that I put flats on so I could put a wrench on this. And then I put an 8 inch hole in there and soldered in 8 inch soft brass, K and S, 1 8 inch soft brass tube. And now I've got a hookup. Now this will go, usually on a, on a steam engine, you'll have a filling plug to fill the water. Like I made, this is what I made on this one is the filling plug. Right there. This filling plug is just a piece of 3 8 inch tubing, threaded 1 quarter 28 with a piece of 9 30 seconds steel put through there for the handle. To fit this, Mini Steam and I think the Walesco. There's a guy selling Walesco engine replacement parts. They will sell you an adapter like this, similar to this, anywhere from about $25 plus shipping up to $45. The fancy ones screw into where the steam whistle would have gone. You take the steam whistle out, you screw in the adapter, and then it has another threaded piece on top of it. You can put the steam whistle back in so you can blow the whistle from your compressed air while you're running it. So let's say you're having a dinner party, everybody's finished eating dinner, you bring them out to the shop and you want to show them very quickly your steam engine's running. So you hook this up. Now here is, this is 1 8 inch ID by 3 16 inch OD. This is clear plastic tubing from Ace Hardware. Now most hardware stores will have this. It's 19 cents a foot. You can see on some of the steam engine sites, they're selling like uh, three feet of this for three dollars and ninety five cents or something ridiculous. So go to the hardware store, look for the clear plastic tubing, nineteen cents a foot. You know, buy yourself a dollar's worth and you'll have five feet to last you pretty much a lifetime. And I got a foot of this to run this, but I would probably get two feet because you're going to come in from your compressor, you're going to want to have a little wiggle room there. So one foot, even though it seems like a lot, isn't, isn't very much for wiggle room when you're getting everything adjusted. Now I also, on this angled needle valve that I bought from 
Lowe's, and I think you know the hardware stores have this. You're going to need to adapt that in to your air compressor. Arbor Freight has a little kit for $3.99, quick connect starter kit. You get two, two male quick connects and one female quick connect, and the quick connect, one quick connect fitting itself, which is this. So that allows you to just pop this right in. regulate the air with the with this needle valve and again over at the compressor I have the air setting on the compressor at about 25 psi because that's all it takes it only takes about 5 or 10 psi to get these little engines motivated so now we've come off the we've come off the boiler we've got our plastic tubing just slip it on there and now we got to go from this one quarter by one eighth inch MIP compression valve. Now also bought because these are one eighth inch pipe thread and the connector for the quick connect is one quarter inch, I had to buy an adapter. And that adapter is in the same area as the angled needle valve and it's called a reducing coupling. One quarter inch to one eighth inch reducing coupling. That was four dollars and sixty eight cents. So this brass is pretty pricey. So now we have to connect into here. So here's another soldering job. I took the 3 8 inch brass rod, drilled a 1 8 inch hole in it. And then soldered in another piece of the K&S 1 8 inch soft brass tubing. So that that would fit into the 8 inch ID there's the two ends. So this is the boiler end and I put a 90 degree bend in the tubing. Don't have to do that. Here's the fitting. Here's the angled needle valve. Just screw that right on there. Okay, and then this will go into the, into the boiler. This end will go into the boiler. Now on these, it's kind of hard to hold this and it's going to flop around on your workbench. So I built this, I made this little, all it is is a piece of uh, O2 5000s sheet steel, also available, that's at Lowe's, $3 for a, uh, a sheet that's like one foot by two feet. Just bent that on the vise into, you know, I had two 90s, then I, before I bent it I drilled these holes here to, to accept the the fitting and kind of hold it and then what you could do is take this and clamp it to your workbench. So what I found that happens with these little steam engines sometimes is that the heavy hose from the compressor will pull the engine right off the workbench so I clamp the fitting like this. Now I'm running off the compressor I want to make sure that I have this valve turned off first. I've connected this up already So over at the compressor, I've got that run up to, uh, that's the tank pressure. Tank pressure is 55, and then over here at the, at the outlet, I want to run that up to about 25. Oops, that's 30. Eh, about 25. So I'll have that available. Okay. If I need it. So here's the setup. It's the steamboat engine in place. The boiler. We've got the boiler fitting screwed in. The eighth inch ID 19 cent plastic tubing from Ace Hardware. We've got the uh, quarter inch by one eighth inch angled needle valve, which is the only one I could find. It fit the bill. Then I have to have a reducer, an eighth inch to quarter inch reducer to fit the adapter for the quick disconnect. So that's three pieces there. By the way, that valve was eight dollars and thirty-eight cents. That's about the cheapest I could find it. Unless you can find an old used one at a flea market. The adapter 
and $3.99 I got a three piece set from Harbor Freight which came with one female quick disconnect adapter, two males and the quick disconnect itself. I'm going to turn on the pressure now for the engine and there it goes. When you're working on an engine, you're trying to get it dialed in. This makes a great way to test run it, to run it in, boil it in, right on the workbench. No fire, no flame, no heat, no electricity. Just running it off the compressor here. I've got the coil going over to the compressor. Compressor set at about 25 psi, but I'm only using a portion of that through here.